and welcome. This week we have been thinking all about women, especially for International Women's Day. And that might be something that you think maybe we don't do very often around here, um, being part of a Lasallian community, uh, a community of brothers. But actually, Lasallians worldwide and St John Baptist de La Salle himself recognise the importance of the women around them, and especially take inspiration from Mary. And so today we are going to be talking about Mary and uh, about maternal figures, um, so Mary and her mother as well, St Anne. Um, so let's start as we always do with the Lasallian call and response. Let us remember we're in the holy presence of God and let us adore him. So Mary was uh, and is a massive inspiration for so many people. She was called at a very young age to be the mother of Jesus, the mother of the Son of God. Um, I personally would have been terrified if you'd have asked me to do that. Mary was younger than I am now and um, yeah, I, I don't think I would have been um, very ready as she was. You know, she took on God's message and she was like, yeah, I, I'm ready and I am your servant um, and, and I'll do this for you. I think I would have been like, uh, sorry, what? <laughs> um, but she was a humble and kind person. Um, she wasn't powerful like Jesus was, she wasn't strong like Joseph was, but she was a massive part of Jesus' life. She was his mother and she was always there and we see in the Bible her compassion and her support that she gives to Jesus and his disciples um, and the, the real maternal instincts that Mary had. And it's pretty apt that we're talking about mother figures um, with Mother's Day just around the corner on Sunday. Um, maybe you have someone who has been a maternal figure for you. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be your mother, but um, somebody who has that warmth and that compassion, who supports you in everything that you do. We know that Mary had a lot of courage. Um, she, as a mother, had great joys um, with Jesus and, and bringing him up, but obviously great pain as well. Um, parents don't often have to say goodbye to their children and um, you know, usually they, their children outlive them. But this wasn't the case for Mary. She had to be with Jesus through his trial and his suffering. Um, and during that time, she showed great bravery and she knew that this was how it was meant to be, and she was strong. We see um, in Jesus' first recorded miracle at Cana when um, the wedding ran out of wine, um, Mary said to Jesus, they've, they've got no wine. And Jesus was like, okay, what am I meant to do? Like, this isn't my time, I'm not ready. What, what am I supposed to do? And Mary said to the servants at the wedding, do whatever he tells you to do. Um, he knows what he's doing, you know? And she gave Jesus that courage um, and that confidence to fulfill his first miracle and to start his journey and start his work with God. It was Mary's love and compassion and belief in her son and in God as well um, that helped Jesus. You know, he, Jesus was still human and he would have still been nervous of all of these things and he still at times would have been confused and, and doubtful but Mary was always there for him, and Mary spurred him to do great things. Some people see Mary as one of the greatest saints. And I said at the beginning of this prayer that actually Mary wasn't a particularly powerful person at the time. She was a humble servant of God, and she was kind and she was loving. We're all called to be saints, we're all called to be kind, and we're all called to be loving. I'm not saying that many of us will give birth to the Son of God. In fact, probably none of us. <laughs> um, but we are called to show compassion and the warmth that Mary had for her son and for his disciples and for the people around her. We can take great inspiration from Mary for so many reasons. Her bravery, her compassion, her strength. But also her humility. I think sometimes it's e easy to overlook Mary in the Bible, but actually she was so present and so important to Jesus. She helps us to 
get closer to Jesus and get closer to God. You know, when we pray, we sometimes ask Mary to intercede for us, which means that we ask her to hear our prayers and to help us to offer them up to God. And that's why we say the Hail Mary, you know, we um, are recognising Mary as not just Jesus' mother, but as our mother, someone to look up to, someone who can give us support. So I invite us to think of Mary as our inspiration, to ask her to pray for us and with us, helping us to be compassionate and loving to all those who we meet. We pray for our own maternal figures and we thank them for their support and their love. So let's say together the prayer to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And live Jesus in our hearts forever. <laughs>